Hey guys, this is Ring from the Ring. Welcome back to my channel. This channel, if you're new, if you've only just found this channel, welcome. This channel is about recycling, traveling, and a lot of nice, good restaurants, or at least in my opinion, of course. We're heading towards Eglinton now, and we're going to go to the place that I told you about, which is House of Chan, and that's actually crazy because I get the House of Chan. This place, regardless of how it sounds to you, they actually serve steaks. They serve steaks hey, in a place called the House of Chan. <laughs> like, I mean, but you know, that's not, you know, I'm, I'm actually quite hyped up for this location um, because, well, first of all, I never knew it existed. It's just funny. I mean, House of Chan, what are you gonna have? You're gonna have Chinese food, right? The sun is so pretty. I'm hyped up because, well, supposedly the decoration is straight out of like, the 50s or 60s. I wasn't around then. I've seen movies that, um, you know, represent that of an Asian restaurant that is in the 50s and the 60s. And they look pretty uh, old. Speaking of old, check this out, okay? This is House of Chan. See that? How retro is this? And I mean, it's hardly like a capsule in a box. I didn't even open yet. It's not exactly 4.30. But let me see if, let me see if they're, see, okay, actually, check this out. They're only open six days a week. So. Oh yeah, they're open. Oh, huh. nice. I haven't seen this for a while. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Um, it's just one of me. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for getting up. <laughs> I think I saw your YouTube one. Get out of here. Yes. No, uh, you rig me or Peter? Jason. Jason. You know, I know what I want, I think. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take my coat off. It's kind of hot in here. Uh, I want to show you first. Five ounce, like you saw. I'm gonna check it out. How about, you know, for house? It's good. Check out plum sauce. And, you know, plum sauce is nothing when it's not served on a plum type of um, shape of a little dish. People might be coming here and complaining about how like, it's very retro. It's, well, you know, that's why you come here. I order a stick, right? A New York Trevoyan stick. I got wine, right? Sure ask. In the house of Chan. Now, that's already, oh, you know, that's, but I got egg rolls and I got a hot and sour soup. It's, it's just so crazy. A lot of people come here for their steak. This is my steak journey. If I'm gonna get a strip loin, you know, they ask you how it's done. Like, it's not like a food court meal. It's not a, it's, you know, it's not a Michelin or anything, but it's not a food court type of steak where they just hear, okay, you want a steak, here's your steak. But here they ask you, you know, they will ask you if you're done this, and they serve wine, and this place is pretty nicely decorated, okay? I haven't seen this stuff for a long time. And I imagine this is mustard, and that's plum sauce. I heard him say that. Um, I'm gonna go straight ahead and check this out here. Check it out this way. Plum sauce is pretty good. This is quite good. The way to eat it anyway, right? Plum sauce and mustard, but this is fried. Anything fried it probably tastes awesome anyways. And of course, I have to mention it when I see this. I appreciate things like gestures where they give you, you know, a proper knife. Thank you. Oh, potato, thank you, thank steak, you. Mr. Wedgie, yeah. vegetable egg roll. Awesome, thank you so much. I'm still just waiting for my hot and sour soup. Now, this spring roll sitting here along with the steak. <laughs> this is crazy. Let me show you. Let me show you how it looks in POV. Okay, guys, check this out. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Give. Oh, if I can get some ketchup, please. Sure. Thanks. This is like fried pretty crisp. Like right now I want to eat this more than these. The soup looks good. Guys, this is the hot and sour soup and it looks pretty amazing. Um, I could sort of smell it from here, although mostly I smell the steak. This gave me some oil and vinegar for this right here. Here's a shot of the spring roll for spring roll lovers. So I guess I should start with a steak because well, I mean, it's my steak journey, right? Check the steak out. It's quite nice. It's quite nice, guys. Check this out. Let me show you. Now, this is the edge. I'm sure inside, like the inner part, the middle, it should be sort of rare because I did ask for medium rare. Like I said, this is so cool. And uh, you walk in the house of chain, you get a New York strip line. You know, everything just doesn't work. I mean, 
I'm looking at decors that are in a Chinese restaurant, Asian restaurants, you know? It, it's got that vibe. Reviewers that I've seen on the web, they say the air as soon as they walk in was stuffy, plus there was an odor. That may have been the case for that gentleman. For me, when I come in here, I, I smell, there's an odor, yes, but you don't use odor to describe a scent that is pleasant. So I actually do smell something that is pleasant, something of fragrance, and therefore it's actually more pleasant and very welcoming. And stuffy, I don't know, it could have been a very humid, hot summer day. Today is late autumn and we're edging on this, just, you know, getting very, very close to winter and the air is definitely not stuffy. And this stick definitely seems very weird in a setting like this. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's nothing short of what I was expecting. This is what I was expecting. My mind sort of like grinding and grinding and yet I can't conceive what is going on here. Um, they're serving me very, very attentive, by the way, very friendly, excellent service, um, attentive. And, and you know, they are polite. It's Asian looking decor, Asian looking. I mean, look at that tank. It's, it's just like when you go to Asian restaurants with seafood that serve seafood. So you see, right, you don't, you don't really see that in the keg, right? Not the keg, nor jackasters or anything like that, right? But it's a stick right here. And then there's a hot and sour soup, crazy. Take this chance, stick this stick, which I told you, right? You see the inside, it is more pink and more of what I asked for. I'm gonna stick it in the mustard first. Next one, I'm gonna try the plum sauce. That is so awesome. Not very surprisingly, mustard with a new restaurant works. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, you know? Why would it work? Now I'm gonna check out the French's ketchup. French's, by the way, I think is Canadian. If they're not Canadian, Canadian brand, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I'll check this out, I don't know what it is. I think it's onion. And it tastes good. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try my hot and sour soup. There's a lot of ingredients. Like, there's hardly any soup, okay? <laughs> It's all ingredients inside. Mmm, I like it. I think this is good. Hot and sour soup here. I think right next to my New York store line and spring rolls. Man, what a scene. I like this, this is so cool. See that? That is what I asked for. And they gave it to me. What else can you say? I mean, that's what I want. That is already a lot better than some of those high-end steak places. For those of you who watched my steak journeys, you know I almost never get New York or New York strip line. But I got it because I want to take a chance, try this out, and expand the spectrum of my steak tasting. So I don't have to just have ribeye all the time. And I'm glad I tried it. And again, I'm gonna dip it in this, and then I'm gonna dip in that plum sauce. I don't know, man. It's so attractive at the same time. If I get a chance to have a steak with plum sauce and mustard in the future, I'm gonna do it. It tastes real good. Never, never, ever try to have a steak with plum sauce and mustard in a place named Hao Su Chen. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little bit of these um, veggies. If I'm just being honest, this is really fresh. <laughs> the steak's quality is already enough that I would totally recommend you to come and try them out. But if you like something very special, something very different than your ordinary stick house, especially like I'm a CAG guy, right? I like CAG, I love CAG actually. You can check out this video up here. This is another world, this is different. Check this out, see this? Egg road, besides the steak. That's super crazy. Dip this in, into the plum sauce. And then maybe a little bit of the mustard as well. Okay, check it out. This brings a lot of memory back. I worked in a Chinese restaurant when I was really young, in fact, in high school, and I would make these. This is like a standard, stereotypical egg roll, and it tastes really, really good. This location, the real estate rent houses, they're expensive, okay? This area is a pretty high-end location, and the rent here must be pretty high. And the fact that they still decided to locate the store here on Anglington. This is like a nice neighborhood is what I'm trying to say. Okay, in name and term, nice neighborhood with nice restaurants. And this place 
although it's called House of Chan, and you saw the outside, right? You saw the exterior of this restaurant. It almost looks like GTA-ish. It's, it's, it's very simple. Chan, two dragons, you know, the design team of GTA, they're gonna decide, draw Asian restaurant. The exterior is probably gonna look like this restaurant's exterior. How cool this place is. They're not afraid to be simple. They, like, they know what they got to offer their clients, their patrons. They've been coming to the house of Chan for many, many years as they are. You asked me that question, why I found this place? Yeah, because like, we don't advertise, we don't do nothing. No, no because right? it's awesome. I love it. It's I so know, good. But, but no, but I know you don't need to. No, I, I do all these years, mm -hmm. like been here for ages. Yeah, no, food will talk, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah as long as, you know, you, you it, keep the, 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 the quality, quality is up, up there, there yeah. people will come. Yeah, I don't sure. know what they sell. There's no windows or anything. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh man, That's, it got me interested. You know what, a funny thing, you yeah. know, like our whole location is west of Bathurst. You know, people are curious, mm -hmm. is this a, a strip John? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you said it, I didn't say anything. <laughs> My friend So you guys all heard Rigby, owner, very friendly have your right clients and your clientele for you to be successful and I think they've nailed that um, to be in this location awesome Rigby very very good business very very good food everybody's got to come here and check this place out